Lydia Ko, five under 66. Lydia, six birdies on Saturday at the U.S. Open. You have to be feeling good about your round. Yeah, um, overall, I think I played solid, and uh, um, I hit a lot of greens. Uh, and when some of the greens I hit, it was like quite a ways far uh, from the pin. But still, you know, you take any green regulations. And I think I stayed pretty patient out there. And I think that's what I did pretty well these last few days. And, you know, you know that even though it's the same as any other 72-hole event, um, this week just feels a little longer, a little tougher. So I just uh, try to stay patient, just have a good time out there. And uh, to be able to play some good golf with that is definitely a bonus. We could hear the reaction from the fans on 18 mm -hmm. when you hit it close there. Talk about the energy and what it's feeling like out on the course today. I think overall, um, this is probably one of the biggest crowds I've seen at the U.S. Uh, Women's Open. Um, I think we had pretty good crowds last year uh, in San Francisco, um, but you know, this is a huge golfing community. I know that even when there aren't championships here, a lot of people come in the area to play Pinehurst um, or, or play here. So um, it's actually nice to go to those kind of places where people love it. There's, you know, people are excited about women's golf being here. People are excited about golf in general. And I think that's why it's not like the fans aren't in one specific hole or one specific group. Um, they're just kind of scattered all around like, even when I saw groups teeing off at 10 o'clock, um, there were a bunch of people. So it's, it's nice to play in front of them. And I feel like everybody out here um, are like avid golf fans. And there's a lot of kids as well, which is always nice to see. We're going to go to Zephyr. It seems as though there's been more low scores this week than you might expect to see at the U.S. Women's Open. What's your opinion on the setup? Um, I think overall it's a course that doesn't suit like one type of player I think I said that early in the week as well and I think that just shows in the leaderboard there are some longer hitters um, there are um, you know there's an amateur at the top of the leaderboard um, there's some shorter hitters like it's very different right I think at some courses you know it kind of gets uh, dialed down to like one kind of type of player um, but I think around a course like this it doesn't fit just one and I can and I think no matter what kind of game you have no matter if you play a fade or a draw like you can all get around the course and I think that's why it's showing um, the course is in really pure condition so that I feel like if you hit good shots you're rewarded with it but then at the same time um, it's it's really small margins of being a perfect shot to being just off the green and now you're short-sighted. So um, I think playing smart at any US Open is key and especially around greens and courses like this. Uh, but, you know, it's, I still think it is tough out there. I just think the level of play is, is really good and I think that's why the cut was at plus three and I think at most US Women's Open, it's a lot higher than that as well. Uh, was the setup today any different than the first two days and what part of the course was most challenging for you today? Um, yesterday I think they moved like you know par three up the day before they moved a different par three up um, today I think they kept it kind of near what the scorecard length would be um, I you know I was talking to the people from the USGA I don't think it was unfair yes you need to hit good shots and you know the greens are rolling out more and more um, so you have to play for that, but it's, I don't think I had a shot where I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to stop this uh, or get this close to the hole. So I think it's been fair. Um, the wind, I think, dictates how the hole plays a lot. And, you know, the, compared to the first day, the last two days, the wind directions were almost the opposite direction. Uh, so that just makes the course play a lot differently. I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow, but I think the wind dictates it more. And just because we've had nicer weather, the, the course itself is only going to get drier over these next few days. Yeah, just quickly, uh, number four seemed to be playing really hard today for a lot of people. You got par <coughs> there with a nice long putt close up. I mean, how did you find that hole playing it today? Um, I think that was just into the wind and today it was a little bit more breezier than the other days um, just from the start of the day probably from the storm that was kind of around last night that the wind kind of stayed and um, that just makes the hole a little bit longer and just makes the tee show a little bit more demanding um, and it's there's not a lot of room there there's a lot of false fronts so
So I think people, you're trying to get over the false front, um, but then not too long because when you're, you've got downhill putts, they're really quick. Yeah. Um, so I think even if you have a short club in or, or a perfect number, you still have to quality um, iron shots. Uh, and I think just being smart and just know that par is, is a good score um, and not to get overly too greedy out there. We're going to take one from the WebEx. Um, what was key to your performance today? Um, I think for most parts I didn't make like too many mistakes, and I think when I was out of position, I was able to scramble um, well, and you know I made a bogey uh, on 15 um, after hitting a great the first best like first uh, good drive on that hole of the week, and then I I think I hit this far behind um, the ball for the second shot, which was. A shocker, um, but uh, I was able to, you know, bounce back with a good birdie on 16. So I think overall I just was pretty. Um, I never got too excited or never got too down when I was out of position, and I think that's what you got to do well. And it's uh, like I said, it's it's a long week, and I'm just trying to play the best golf I can. And um, if I can play good golf on top of that, that's. Uh, that's stick in the boxes. Uh, one more from the WebEx. Do you feel like you're in contention now? You're cur- we don't know what will happen. You're currently five shots back. Um, you just never know, right? Um, you know, there has been some lower scores at this courses. I don't know, like I said, what, how it's going to be set up, how, what the weather is forecasted to be tomorrow. Um, and, you know, it's the U.S. Women's Open. There's always that little bit of adrenaline and a little bit of nerves that, maybe necessarily don't um, come at any other event. Um, so I'm just going to focus on on uh, my game. Um, just enjoy it. It's, it's such a great golf course, and it's a fun course uh, where I think you can be aggressive, um, but at the same time, when you are, like, there are some, like, penalizing bits as well. So you just have to play really smart, and um, I think... This has been one of the most fun venues of the US Women's Open that I've played. So hopefully I'll be able to finish off my week well and uh, see where that puts me at the end of tomorrow. Paula. Yeah, <laughs> 어, 잘 쳐야 될지를 좀 생각했던 것 같아요. 그래서 헤나 그린 선수랑 3일 연속 치기도 하고 해서 그냥 편하게 즐겁게 쳤던 것 같아요. 헤나 그린 선수랑 무슨 얘기를 했어요? 어, 그냥 다양한 얘기 한것 같아요. 지금 헤나는 이 저번 파운더스 컵을 안 쳐가지고 팔라스 베르데이즈가 마지막 시험인데 마지막 다섯 라운드를 저랑 같이 치고 있거든요. 거기도 마지막 third round, fourth round, 그다음에 여기 1, 2, 3 라운드 계속 같이 쳐가지고 그냥 치면서 저도 많이 배울 게 있다고 생각하고 그냥 음식 얘기도 하고 그냥 off the course 얘기 많이 하는 것 같아요. 어, 첫 홀에서 버디 좀 했잖아요. 그 버디가 모멘텀을 줬나요? 네, 어제 오늘은 1번 홀이 앞바람이어가지고 투온이 힘든 상황이었는데 그래도 제가 좋아하는 거리에 레이업하고 어, 서드샷을 가까이 붙여서 좀 버디 찬스를 만들었던 것 같은데 항상 어, 어느 홀에 버디하면 좋지만 첫 홀에 버디하면 기분 좋게 시작을 하는 것 같고 조금 나머지 있는 그 다음 홀에 좀 쿠션이 있다는 그런 느낌을 받고 가는 것 같긴 해요. 마지막으로는요. US Open 특히 어린 아이들이 많이 보는데요. 리리아 선수는 어렸을 때 US Women's Open은 어떻게 어떤 의미가 있었어요? 어 저는 제일 기억나는 장면이 아마 박세리 프로님의 US Open 90, 98 US Open 제일 기억에 남는데요. 그때 딱 신발 벗고 양말 벗고 좀그 샷을 하는 게 많은 분들한테 좀 기억에 남는 그런 거 그런 샷이었던 것 같아요. 또 이제 저는 원래 한국에서 태어났고 한국 백그라운드이기 때문에 더욱 좀 의미 있었고 아 나도 언젠간 저런 순간이 있으면 좋겠다라는 어 인스피레이션을 받았던 것 같아요. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Okay, thank you.